Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, continuing the uh, the podcast form of videos because this is like remarkably easy. I cannot believe uh, how difficult I actually make my own show. Uh, you know, trying to blow out the production and good video and my lighting and all that other crap. I need to just save that for live streams and just put out information. That seems to be the uh, the rub. If uh, I notice that we have three people watching my <laughs> watching the show right now because I'm so stupidly popular. Uh, if you guys agree, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't I can't even say that though. All right, anyway. Uh here you go, guys. Look, man, you're looking at a Rydex. I, I've made videos about this thing. Uh I, I, I'm I'm a big fan. Not of the Dex itself. The Dex is a Dex. All right. It's another Cosmos Dex. Round of applause for another Cosmos Dex because you know we just don't have enough of those. So you bet, man. We 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 absolutely need more. But this one is so unique in the fact that those APRs are like stupidly high, ridiculously high, shockingly high. They're almost too high. Emery and I took these things apart and we're trying to figure out how they are incentivizing the <laughs> incentivizing that deck so much, man. That is again ridiculously high APRs, even for Cosmos. I'm looking at those and going, man, what? <laughs> How can you possibly uh, maintain this? So we're figuring that uh, it's probably wrong. I don't know. But we're figuring that uh, they're, they're scooping out the liquidity and they're just dumping it back in to re-incentivize it. Or they are incredibly well-funded. But either way, we could have an Evmos type of scenario going on here. So I just want to let you know that if you're going to go swimming in these waters, babe, you got to pay attention. All right. You just got to pay attention. But if you do, if you are Johnny on the spot, I'm not going to miss. Uh, it's not a bad place to earn. Now, a rise a little high right now. I, I, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you're looking at the price there, six dollars seven cents. It's a little bit elevated now. I was fortunate enough to get into this token a long time ago at about a buck, buck and a half somewhere in there, and I cleared my position. Not at ten. I didn't catch a high, but I cleared my position at about nine dollars. Because come on, man. All right, that's a lot of money. Uh, when you when you eight x a token, you know, good enough. I'm just saying it's good enough. It came up on the AI hype, and it's still kind of sticking around there. And I'm more than happy to take advantage of it as long as they will let me. A uh, couple straight-off pools, you, you you really can't miss them. Now, my favorite, of course, is sitting right there, Arai Adam. I, I like Arai Adam because I like to stake uh, I, I like to stake Adam. Or, I'm sorry, I like to LP Adam. And... Uh, 152 percent i mean i'm just saying so currently in one of my wallets uh i have about twenty five thousand dollars in that pool and the pay is maybe 110 dollars a day uh yeah right around there so we're not talking about a massive amount of money on this uh you know daily return but man that adds up all right, uh, you know, you're talking $3,300 a month for a $25,000 investment. I think any reasonable person would say that cannot be maintained. That is too high. And where is the money coming from? At least that's what a reasonable, rational, rational person should be saying, is that that is too high. And where is that money coming from? This is kind of, uh, you know, a downside of the whole cosmos thing here, man. People are not asking these questions, and they really should. So... We, we just went through this with Evmos. That's the funny thing. It's like we forgot that uh, there was absolutely nothing backing up Evmos except a big fat wallet. And as soon as that, uh, as soon as they made it rain on all the Evmos people, uh, we all left. I, I feel bad about it, but not really. I, I just, they're your rules. I just play by your rules. These are the rules. So you get a couple things in here. Uh, the uh, Ori X bonus. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the token is. I really don't care. But it's uh, you get some trace amounts of it. So you can drop it right over there in Ori X. Uh, Ori, if you choose to do so. 112%. Way too high. Uh, Ori USDT. 
166.67%. That is way too high, but there it is. And, uh, Oh, and Arai Osmo. I'll be damned. That's what I should have did with that. I just dumped a bunch of Osmo today when it hit 90 because I was like, well, I got no place to put it. Uh, the, the, I could have just liquidated half it for Arai and collect 149%. 149.31%. 149.31% for Osmo. And, of course, Arai USDC. Now, I'd be uh, favoring Arai Adam. That's a big, fat pool uh good apr just be aware that that uh show can come to a stop at any time and uh that's a nice pool right usdt lots of liquidity there it's easy to get in it's easy to get out definitely keep that one in mind and uh these two right here the liquidity is not large but they're easily swappable and they're easy to get them in and out because, of course, we're in the cosmos and these are all uh, native cosmos. Well, not that, not the USDC. The USDC, you're going to have to break that into Atom or Osmo to get it out. You'll likely go into Atom because the slippage is going to be a lot less. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I push money into it because I'm just a completely degenerate harvester. So, uh yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I can't really swear up and down that this is something that I would recommend. I cannot account for those APRs, man. Way too high. However, there's always a however, and the however is this. You're seeing that same as I'm seeing that. So if, uh, if this is something you'd like to entertain, this is a good place to entertain it. Now, currently, uh, Adam outpaced Arai recently by a few percentage points. So if you happen to be fat on Adam and you wanted to swap it for a rye, you're actually getting a premium because Adam outpaced it. So as far as that goes, you're probably in good shape. Aside from that, now that the hype is worn off, now that the AI, you know, AI to the moon thing is worn off a little bit, uh, there's there's some decent opportunity there. And again, if you can purchase it at a premium, man, definitely purchase it at a premium. Just a, uh, a warning, and I'm going to hit this one more time just so I'm, I'm crystal clear. Uh, this thing could go FMOS on you at any time. So get in, enjoy it. If this is your thing, get in it, enjoy it, make your money, and then uh, just pay attention to it. Because I think if it goes, it's going to go quick, and you do not want to be the last one in the room. Uh, if if you are, it's going to be, yeah, you're going to be the one carrying the flag, turning off the lights, and just leaving your money in there. So don't be that guy. But based on this, there there's there's opportunity. I'm in it, and i just going to take advantage of it. So uh, different, I know, podcast form, different, I know. It's a lot easier for me to do these. So if you would like more information, uh, I can get out more information. It's just a lot less work. So, all right. Anyway, that's all we got, guys. Thank you. Questions, comments, Scott at the podcast .com, dot com. I answer any and all. And until next time, please be safe. Please be smart with your money. Cheers. <laughs>